Michael Palazzolo with the LSU Ag Center and today I want to talk to you about having a green thumb or green fingers as they call it in England. Now there's a lot of theories about where this phrase comes from but two of the most compelling stories for it of the origin are it either comes from deadheading blooms a lot if you do this which is great for encouraging new flowering you're eventually going to build up a layer of chlorophyll on your fingers but what I think is even more pronounced is the layer of algae you build up on terracotta earthenware pots. You deal with these any extent of time and you're going to move them around and you're going to end up with a green thumb certainly and more than likely a whole bunch of green fingers too. Now in truth it really started entering the literature in the early 1900s and became very popular in the 1940s with a gardening program based in England and they used it to mean to be really knowledgeable and good at gardening. So if you need help getting your fingers green and getting knowledge to go out in your garden, please feel free to contact us at the LSU Ag Center and we'll help you get that knowledge to get those green fingers.